The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. c4 controls the important d5 square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prepares the bishop for development. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. BB7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Master Games It is the last book move. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Right on target. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy.